Good morning. Tagurubachi chapter 40. Let's just hop into it here. The enchanted blade is my merchandise. No matter what, proceed. Is this an illusion? It's a real demonstration. Is this, is this the Shinuchi's true power? Kagurubachi chapter 40, the tip. An actual demonstration? Power beyond the control of an eternal contract. It seems like your theory was correct, senpai. But the box is still... He can't hold out for more than a few seconds. But I can't let up on him. Just in case. Kuro. But why? Did the, sh did the Hishaku put the Shinuchi up for auction in the first place? Probably to get the Kamunabi to bid for it. Hmm. They went to the trouble of stealing the enchanted blades. Of course, they'd want to use them. In that case, they first have to kill the owners. So, the Kamunabi are hiding the Swordmasters under strict protection. <laughs> Somewhere in Japan. <laughs> Naturally, the Hishaku want to break through the current deadlock. Even if the Kamunabi did get a hold of the Shinuchi, they wouldn't be able to agree to keep, to keep it under containment. It would inevitably be internal conflict. They might move the Master Swordsman. At any rate, I think the Hishaku are seeking some kind of distraction to kill the Sword Masters. And the, Shinu the, Sh the Shinuchi is unique. That's why it's under more strict protection than the others. To contain the Shinuchi's unique ability to overpower its eternal contract, it was protected in the box for 18 years after the war. And even you never saw what was inside, Chihiro. The seal on that box was also extremely robust. Those Kamunabi old farts created it. To break the seal and open the box, you need bio-authentication from those three. It might be possible to independently analyze the sealing ceremony and find a different approach to break the seal. But with the seal of that level, it would take even the most skilled sorcerer at least 10 years. If they can't open the box, they can't touch the Shinuchi. So it does no good for the Hishaku to possess it. They put it up for auction to somehow shift the status quo. That's my theory. Alright, so as long as the seal on the Shinuchi's box is intact. Oh, it can't be. It might be possible to independently break the seal. It would take at least 10 years. It's been an intense three years. After that day, I funneled everything into opening that box. But to enjoy the fruits yourself, didn't you want to be the first to open it? Or will Kiara use it? He'll use it. Kiara Sazanami lives for the Rakuzaichi. If he's driven into a tight corner, He'll grasp at straws. The reason I'm letting Kiora turn the key is that even if he's able to wield the tip of the Shinuchi, I figure the risk is greater. Risk? As long as the Shinuchi's master is alive somewhere, we can't be sure we have the primary command of it. In other words, Kiora is a guinea pig. <sighs> Now, what will happen? Hmm. <coughs> That's...
Magatsumi. What is this? <sighs> I couldn't draw the sword, but even just commanding the very tip of its power. How wonderful! Kiora. <laughs> The sound of a blade. It can cut, even without being unsheathed. We're both extremely worn down. Hey, what's the situation? To be continued. My God, the Shinuchi's finally been drawn. Absolutely insane plot twist. You guys enjoyed that chapter. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. Hope you enjoy this reading as much as I enjoy doing it. Thank you very much and have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next chapter. Pooh.